good. Hey guys, Derek, we're here in Tampa. Uh, I, we're talking with. Dr. Ada Fisher, the North Carolina Republican National Committee woman. Thank you. So no problem. Been, been, I'm a free thinker, just like you all are. And that's what we're looking for. We're all looking right. for the free thinkers, people who, who are, are thinking freely and during this election time, during the convention. All right. And uh, just wanted to, I guess, get your first your feel on how things have been going. Well, I think things are great. You know, people get a bad <laughs> impression based on the song, but as you can see from these lines out here, Stop putting the damn home people's enthusiasm or activities here. Oh, awesome. Yeah, we've seen we've seen a lot of people. We've also seen a lot of police and different things going on. Of course, it's been impacting everyone. Right. Um, I wanted to get a feel for the, the convention as we're moving towards it actually officially opening tomorrow. Um, it seems all but shown up that Mitt Romney is the official. I sure hope so. I love the man. I think he's going to be a great president. And I would encourage everybody to support him. Okay, so you so you you will be uh, supporting Mitt, the nomination of Mitt Romney? Yes. Okay, awesome. So are the North Carolina? I'm from North Carolina. Is North Carolina? He got 67 percent of the vote in the primary, so that's a pretty good endorsement. Pretty, pretty good endorsement yes, for North yes. Carolina. How how did uh, North Carolina fare for for the other candidates? Uh, I don't know what the percentage was for those of the candidates. Was it a close race in there as some of the other states? I don't know. Ron Paul wasn't the closest. No, no, no. Romney got 67%. It wasn't close. It wasn't close. Mitt Romney took it. Yeah, Mitt Romney took it without question. Hey, I wanted to get your opinion also on commenting on some of the changes that have been made in the, in the, in the specifically in the Rules and Credentials Committee that uh, seem to affect the number of delegates that Ron Paul um, was awarded in other states. You know, we, we've, a lot of people have been keeping up with some of the lawsuits that have been going on. I know there was uh, a couple of states did award the delegates to Ron Paul, and there was talks of the deal being made, you know, Rand Paul's people yeah, and different things. So just, I guess your comments on that. Well, I have not been privileged to that kind of information. I know that we changed the rules the last time, which penalized people who had primaries earlier. So if none of that has come to the floor, I'll call the membership. So I can't comment on it because I don't know that uh, it has been put into effect yet. Definitely. Uh, yesterday during the, no, 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 the, uh, we are the future rally for Ron Paul, there was about 12,000 people there, and some of the members of the uh, Republican National Committee commented on uh, rules that were being changed uh, affecting the delegates, essentially saying that delegates could be vetoed in the future. Uh, that hasn't come up yet when it comes up what the people decide to do. Well, one of the things I think all candidates must remember is when you participate in the process and you lose, you support the people who win. And so I'm supporting Mitt Romney 100% and Paul Ryan. Was, was that your original candidate? Absolutely. He's been my choice since 2008. Okay. I've been for a long time. How would you say that Mitt Romney differs from, say, President Obama? Well, I think that this is an election which promises to offer a contract. And I say we have it called the road not taken. He says two roads to burn in the yellow wood, and I, I chose the one that's coddled, and that has made all the difference. In this election, the contrast is the Republicans are saying we must stabilize the economy. We must have some way to reduce our bills. The Democratic Party still says let the increase taxes, let the increase spending, and we can. When you look at the budget, you will find that we are now spending over $3 trillion for entitlements for Medicaid and Medicare. Money that we're taking in, and that doesn't even include defense and other things. And if, and if this nation doesn't want to end up like Greece, it must be solved. And to be solved, we have to make some changes. But the changes have to be fair and safe in that capacity. And we will fight to make sure those things happen. Definitely. It's good to hear that you see a uh, difference in the two candidates in the economic region. Uh, how, how would you see, how would you say that Mitt Romney and President Obama differ in the uh, Well, I think that one of the things that people that have criticized candidates is to say that the candidate does not have any foreign policy experience. But the reality is, you can't have a strong foreign policy if you don't have a strong economy. You can't pay for your business, so it's important that you get economic stability. As a matter of fact, Bill Clinton said, I hate to use the phrase crudely, this is economy stupid. And so if you don't get the economy to gallop, all of the best are all. So without a stable economy, I will just a nation that is friends. Do you think Mitt Romney, from your perception, support um, 
Like, I don't know. You have to ask him. I can't comment on what he supports and what he doesn't support. I can tell you that he is for a strong defense, and he does support Israel. And as a Jew, I'm very interested to make sure that Israel is defended and that's what. That was a to uh, comment on one, one more thing. Um, some of, some of the areas, I guess, of critique that both Mitt Romney and President Obama have taken large donations from banks such as Goldman Sachs. Some of the banks, the same banks, were the way they were in the 2008 financial crisis. Uh, your comments on that? Uh, you should read my book. I wrote a book called Common Sense Conservative Prescription Solutions for What Else? One of the things that I think people are naive about, it costs a lot of money to raise the election. And I'm just people are willing to give the kind of money that it takes. They must raise the money from somewhere. Um, I think that in my book, I wrote all plan under a different set of rules. And as long as Romney is operating under the law, I don't have a problem with it. One of the things I'll tell you and your listeners is remember that rich is not a dirty word. That's part of the American dream for people to prosper and do well. If you can, if you could achieve wealth without harming anybody, and you know, using I gotta go, but I thank you for the interview. All right, bye bye. So.